Hey, Dave Liu uh, for Guns.com at 2024 SHOT Show here at Century to see what they have new. Here with the wall, we got a bunch of our new stuff on this wall. It's kind of a hodgepodge of yep. stuff. Everything from a 24 karat gold Wazer underfolder, yep. just some fun stuff. But then we've got a lot of our new stuff, some of our collaborations, everything from behind you. Last year, we started talking about, we did a Thunder Ranch uh, collab, AK, our second iteration right. of that. Um, obviously, our AP5s have been huge for us over the last three years. So nice, so um, sexy. And, and they've done really well, but you know, over the last year, there's been a lot of, can I use a brace? What's a, am I a felon? Am I not a felon? You know, that kind of thing. So we said, hey, we want to take that out of consideration, out of an issue for those people that just aren't ready to deal with that right now. And the only way to do that is create a rifle version. Obviously, the MP5 and the MP5 variants traditionally have been that shorter barrel, which would be sold in a pistol configuration, a brace configuration, or an SBR. We said, let's make a 16-inch version. So at SHOT Show this year, we're proud to introduce the AP5L. So got that 16 inch barrel, same platform, still made by MK, M, MKE on the AP5 platform, awesome. but now you've got that collapsible stock. stock. You know, it looks a little interesting when you first see it. We thought about even doing like a shroud cover, but to be honest, it's got its own cool effect and yeah. it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. And you already know this is a soft shooting gun. Like roller delay blowbacks are yep. amazingly soft shoot. You put a 16 inch barrel on it, it's like it's a not big, moving. Yeah, it's a big boy BB gun. Yeah. And so that's something that we're really excited about. Still uh, aggressively pricing that, something that's a third of the price of anything close to it from some of our competitors. So really excited to bring that to market. No, that's awesome. Like nobody, a lot of people just don't want to deal with it. Just, yeah. I just want. I, I just want, want a gun. I don't want to be. I don't want somebody, you know, ratting out yeah. me on the range. Or five I don't want, years yeah. later, they're going to change the law. Exactly. There's going to be a picture of me somewhere. Right, right. Exactly. So that's the reason we have that. We're still offering the standard AP5, AP5P, but now we have the L version as well that will be available in the market in about two weeks. Oh, so okay. yeah, so it's actually hitting now. Great. Uh, moving on to kind of more Century's bloodline, obviously in the AK platform, yep. obviously 7.62 by 39 has been king for years and years. But we all know, part of the fun of shooting a 7.62 by 39 AK was the fact that every time you dumped the mag, it wasn't costing you an arm and a leg. Right. Ammo prices are changing yeah. on that side. Obviously, yeah. with the conflicts across the ocean, there's been a weird turn in terms of what is expensive and what's cheaper in ammo. And with ammo being that high for 7.62 by 39, we wanted to keep the platform, but add some different alternatives. One of those alternatives also is an expensive round, but a lot of fun to shoot, is that 5.45. Five, five, five. Yeah. So we came out with a 5.45, the BFT 74. Um, still got that bulge for Trunnion, still got all of the the feature sets that made the BFT a rugged, reliable gun that we introduced a couple years ago, uh, but now chambered in 545. Secondly, the BFT 556. Right. Um, getting more into awesome. that, yeah, yeah, exactly. Getting more into that realistic modern day age. Yeah. Um, that price point on that ammunition has kind of stayed pretty consistent recently. Yeah. And to shoot a 556 out of an AK platform with that weight and that construction is actually really fun to shoot. Yeah, I bet. It's very easy. It's very controllable, and that's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, finally, the last thing I think is important to bring to the market is Century Arms for a long time, over 60 years, has been one of those companies that's really been able to bring in some really neat stuff, some unique things from all over the world with a lot of history, a lot of um, surprise in terms of the fact that it's even available. Yeah. And that didn't change when we got our next project, which is we got all of the country yeah. of Portugal's Portugal. Army's G3s. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been eyeing that thing. So yeah, we got about 50,000 G3s from Portugal. Awesome. And what we had to do, there was some regulations in terms of how we had to do it. We had to destroy the receiver and the barrel. So we brought them in. We knew we were going to do a new barrel. We knew we were going to do a new receiver. And, and to be quite honest, so cool. it happens more often than you think. We worked with one of our competitors that we have a lot of respect for in this industry, and that was we partnered with PTR on this. Oh, okay. So PTR is assembling this uh, a new receiver, a new barrel. Everything else you see on this is the OG. Original furniture, you know, original magazines, uh, original, I mean, everything. I, I mean, so even, many people are gonna love oh, this. Oh, look at this. I mean, even the, even the old selector still got, you even still have the full auto selector. Obviously, this is gonna be sold in a semi-automatic semi configuration, but right. it's still got the homage to the original. Very, very cool, very unique. You can see we stayed true. We didn't want to repaint it. We wanted to have that battle-worn finish. Yeah. It's a battlefield pickup. It's the history of it. Yeah. It's a fun gun. It's chambered at 308. 
It's a G3, and it's coming in at a price well under $1,000. Yeah, that's market. what I heard that. I was like, yeah, sign me up. Yeah. So absolutely. this is going to be something that's going to be available in about a month and a half. Okay. We've already got some of our really cool partners chomping at the bit to get them out there. They'll be available online as well in brick and mortar, and we just can't wait to see this. We're going to be doing, uh, we're going to start out small, so they might be a little tougher to find okay. in the beginning, and we're going to ramp up production. So by the end of the year, they should be pretty readily available. Wow. A lot. I know a that was a, a mouthful, lot. right? Great, yeah. but great stuff. I don't know what I'm more excited for. So, I mean, I guess we'll have to shoot them all and see. I mean, <laughs> it's a tough job, but somebody's got to yeah, do it, Yeah, right? I know, exactly right. Well, thanks so much. Thank you for having me, brother. Yeah.